hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video i'm gonna be talking about on how to use tensorflow on uh, other gpus other than nvidia um mainly so i don't have any nvidia gpu at the moment and i was kind of testing uh tensorflow with my apu um for a couple of months by now and it works great uh, i'm gonna show you guys exactly how um, uh, what can you expect, um, uh, from this? I got a speed up of two times, um, using the GPU integrated, integrated graphics, uh, compared to the CPU, but you guys can get a much higher, uh, much better speed up. If you guys start using, uh, your GPU, um, because it, before you, you didn't have that, that choice of using an AMD um, graphics card uh, on TensorFlow. So to do this, you guys, I'm gonna just show you guys some of the information that we got here. So you guys need need to have the graphics card driver installed. Uh, it needs to have Python uh, 3.6 or 3.7, okay? Uh, and you guys need to, so here's the command to install. Uh, you guys need to, uh, install a TensorFlow if you have uh, installed this TensorFlow um, DirectML to have access to your GPU. So the way it works, it you, you uses the Direct um, API for computing. So it basically does what we should do with graphics card that use the API for graphics to do math in a way that it's useful for deep learning. Uh, so we got some of the information here. There are some examples. Here's the uh, GitHub repository. Um, it's a fork of the TensorFlow. Um, there's some, some of the info here. So you guys need to have Windows 10. Um, this is the build that you guys need to have. And it works with uh, Radeon graphics, um, older graphics. So because it uses Direct uh, uh, Direct Twelve, Direct X Twelve, it is available for you for a wide range of graphics cards. You can use Intel XT HD graphics as well. Uh, even um, you can you can also use um, GPUs from Nvidia. If you want to, because it's it would be better, uh, it would be much easier than start uh, than installing the CUDA drivers for sure. And here are the files that you guys have. You guys can uh, copy this um, command by clicking here to copy. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna open up the command prompt. So let's say that I have the drivers installed, and I have the windows uh that is available which is a very old um kind of version of windows just copy and paste this command to install tensorflow direct ml and here we go by doing this so this was beta for almost a year so i think it was in april or march of last year they they um, created beta so I've installed, uh, I already had installed. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things that this have. So I have a benchmark here. Uh, this benchmark runs uh, two models, one of one in a CPU, one of on the CPU, and another another one on the GPU. So. It's a very, very basic um, example using convolutional neural networks to do image classification on the MNIST dataset, as you guys can see. And I'm going to run just for, let's say, one epoch. Yeah, one epoch, I think, is enough to showcase the difference between uh, the GPU and CPU. So I'm going to show you guys my task manager. So it's running on a, on a CPU right now. So my... Usage goes up to 60%. Uh, and if we go to GPU, as you guys can see here, 
I might be running this on the... Yeah, <laughs> let's see. I just need to check. So the... If you guys can see here, the CPU is around 60%. And the video encode here is in 90. And the compute on the GPU, it's around... So, okay, so now it started. Um, so he here it was using the G, uh, CPU and now it's using the GPU. You guys can see it goes for about 82% of usage, okay? So um, right now, I'm, 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 we are done, okay? So here you guys can see the, the results. So time to train on CPU for actually it's one epoch. <laughs> I need to correct this. Okay, I need to correct this code. And let's go. Epochs and epochs. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run for eight epochs just to showcase, and I'm gonna increase the batch size for sixty four. Okay. Just to show you guys exactly how much you guys can expect uh, of a, how much of a speed up you can expect by using TensorFlow DirectML. So my integrated graphics card is not that powerful. It is a Vega 11. So because of my uh, CPU, which is the Ryzen 5 3400G, and I got uh, three gigabytes of uh, dedicated um memory so it's taking uh three gigabytes out of my 16 gigabytes for video memory and it works great um for this purpose <laughs> because right now we are in a shortage of uh cpus actually gpus it's kind of hard to find anything that's um close to msrp <laughs> even uh even close to msrp is the dream right now but uh, because of this, we don't necessarily need to use a NVIDIA G um, GPU. Uh, the performance, I think it's around uh, 30 or 20% lower than running a good version on most models, as I've seen uh, on, in some benchmarks, but um, when it comes to not being able to train on a GPU uh, instead of the CPU, the speed up, it's very consi uh, considerable, okay? Uh, if you're running this on, I, I don't know, maybe an RX 500, actually 580 with eight gigabytes, you might, you might see a higher speed up than this especially because you can run with um, a with the memory on the GPU. So you guys can see here, we are taking about uh, 30 seconds. I'm just, I need to check the code as you guys can see. So CPU is around 60 and the compute is around 50% now. Uh, I don't know why it's using any compute at all. Uh, maybe my code must have some kind of bug. Bug. I don't. I don't think it has. I'm passing the device and with uh, tf device, passing the name of the device as an argument here. I can train on a specified uh, device. But let's see how it goes. I should see a re remarkable difference remarkable difference um using um the the gpu instead of the cpu here so i like seeing these benchmarks um to showcase um how deep learning needs um compute and gpus so i hope this video makes um it's it's useful for you guys um because now you guys can use um amd graphics cards 
even APUs such as a Intel uh, CPU with integrated graphics or an AMD CPU with integrated graphics. Yeah, I see that uh, with uh, CPU, each uh, epoch might, might take 28 seconds. And with the GPU, it's going to take up around 16, which is a two times speed up, as I said before. This is the, the speed up that I got, which is two times. It might not seem like a lot, but it is, especially considering that you can train, um, you can let your model training on a GPU while you're doing other stuff because uh, you usually don't use much of the GPU anyway, unless you are playing games or encoding videos. Uh, and as I said before, so this the GPU is is a very interesting uh, piece of hardware. So we got video encoding running here because I'm recording this video, and we got we got compute um, happening here. So you guys can see that because we are, we are using the GPU, we can do multiple stuff at the same time. So I'm just going to wait until this uh, benchmark ends. And I hope you guys like the video. Uh, if you guys like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And you guys can share your thoughts around this. If you guys have plan of using direct ML, I know that ten, uh, I know that PyTorch uh, probably will have support for uh, direct ML sometime. Uh, especially because I I didn't have faith um, that they would add a Rockam, which is a API from AMD, to run um, deep learning on AMD GPUs on Linux. But they, they, they did that, so now I'm hopeful that they would do the same with the uh, direct ML. So we see here, uh, which is around half the time, and that's what we saw previously. So uh, this is the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time.